So the last type of factoring would be factoring by grouping, but don't copy this down. Um, we're not really going to spend too much time on, we're not going to spend any time on this anyways. And we've, I kind of showed you the factor by grouping by, um, when I showed you the decomposition method. If you really wanted to see it, if you want to go on Moodle, you can see some examples of it, but I'm not going to ask you to do factor by grouping. It just shows that you take them by groups and then do common factors. So don't worry about this slide. I just wanted you to see it if you went to the Moodle notes. Um, so you can skip that. And we get into the solving, which is the last thing we're going to talk about. When, and really, the solving is a chance for us to practice the factoring. So solving, remember, says find values for x that satisfy the equation. So in this case, we're looking for the x values that's going to get you a 0. Now, solving and finding the roots is actually very, very similar because they do the same thing. They're seeing where the equation equals 0, and that's what the roots do, too. So factoring and finding roots are hand in hand, especially when we're dealing with quadratics. So the first example we have is x squared minus 6x plus 8. Before I can try and solve it, I need to factor it. It's a quadratic, so my strategy is to factor. So here I'm looking for two numbers. This is a simple trinomial. So I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 8 and add to negative 6. So I can see it's minus 2 and minus... 4, so x minus 2 and x minus 4 equals 0. So I know the only way that this can be true is if the first part, the first factor is equal to 0, or, and or, the second one is equal to 0. Either one of them is equal to 0, or both of them are equal to 0. Either way, it gets us our roots. And we see then a quick little solve here says that x equals 2, and x equals 4. Now, I talked about this last week. We're at the stage now. We don't need to write down this stuff. Okay, we know we can look at this and see if the factor is x equals 2. And we can look at this and see the factor is x equals 4. So I have full confidence you could do that. And we sold it. We found the, fa the two answers for x that will result in a 0 when you put it back into this equation. You could test them if you wanted. So we could test, put this in 2. So 2 squared is 4, negative 6 times 2 is 12, so this would be 4 minus 12 is negative 8, plus 8 equals 0. Yeah, so it works. And you could do, this, do the same test on x equals 4. Now in B, you see another quadratic, except it doesn't look like it. So we look at this and say, in order to solve, we don't try and do the left side and right side here. Or in order to solve, when it's a quadratic, you want to set it equal to 0. So the equation looks like this, but we want to rearrange it. So we want to go 4x squared. We're going to bring this across. So it'll be a plus x and bring this across. And it'll be a minus 3 equals 0. This is our strategy for solving quadratics, is put it so that it equals, set it equal to 0. So that's step one. Now we can factor. And this one turns out to be not a simple one. We've got to use TV tray. So. Thank you, Mr. for putting that announcement over my video, but that's okay. So here I'm going to factor, I'm going to serve up a one. So factors, I think, of 4 is 4 times 1, and factors of 3 are 3 times 1. Um, I think if I make this a negative 3, it'll work. So 4 times 1 is 4. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3, and that's going to get me a 1. So that factors to 4x minus 3, x plus 1 equals 0. And I said... You should be able to get that the factors right away. This one's easy. It's x equals negative 1. You should be able to see that this one is positive 3 quarters. So with quadra quadratics, solving our strategy is to set equal to 0 and factor. That method is going to work almost all the time. The time it doesn't is when we get something like this. 
the problem with this one, as you copy it down, 3x squared plus 6x plus 1, is regardless if you use TV tray or you use any other method, it's not going to factor. So in this case, we have to use something else to solve. And I'm sure we all remember this. And if I invited Mrs. Holliden to sing her song, we could. But this is where we need the quadratic formula. So it's minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And I'll give you a second to try it and remember how to do this. You can push pause. But all I'm going to do is quickly answer this question to finish this video off. shouldn't have any trouble getting to this stage. At this stage, um, if for some reason that thing underneath the root sign is a perfect square, you can actually take the square root. That means you could have factored it at the beginning, but that's fine. These are your two roots, but I want you to remind you that you can simplify this. So the 24 that's underneath the root sign can be switched to a 4 times 6. We do that so that we can factor out We can factor out the square root of 4, which is 2, root 6. So this here, you actually take the square root of that and it turns it into a 4, all over 6. This allows me to divide everything by negative 3. Or sorry, by 3. No, I'm sorry, I'm dividing by 2. And that's going to get me with negative 3 plus or minus root 6 all over 3. Remember, this is actually two answers. The first one being negative 3 plus root 6 over 3. And the last one being negative 3 minus root 6 over 3. Please make sure you practice these quadratic equation ones. All your factoring reviews on the factoring review view worksheet, which your supply teacher can hand out now. Do numbers 1 to 7. Don't worry about the factor by grouping. You see the answers at the bottom. Okay, thanks very much, and remember, factoring is all about practice.